<laughs> and, and with the water, you know, well, you can you can you can blend it blend it down, uh, smooth it out a little bit. Uh, they're they're great. Out. That's one of the neatest tools I've stumbled across. You know. I, I picked one up before I came out and I, I used it on uh, one piece that I did and I fell in love with it. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, I got to get But they are, they are, they are like eight. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you clean them? Did you try to clean them at something? I haven't yet. I haven't really needed to. Uh, I mean, because... I'm just using them for ink, and then, and I haven't had to refill it. This they last a uh, tube of it lasts a long time. Have so you noticed a, a significant degradation in the, in the quality of the brush, or how long the brush tip on it lasts? I, you know, I, I know because I've only had these for a few weeks, a couple of weeks. That so, you know, uh, whenever he uh, Max Maxine is that when Maxine uh, mentioned it. Uh, I went out looking for them. I thought I, I had seen them before, but I couldn't remember where. Uh, and, but I, at the time I saw them, they, they didn't. I, I didn't really know if they were what I would do with them. I thought, well, that's a pretty cool tool, but I don't do watercolors or anything very often. Uh, you can also, you know, put color in. Them, you know, if you if yeah. you want to do color, if you you know buy several of them. These these aren't really. That. I believe they come in different sizes. Yeah, yeah this, these do. They come in small, medium, and large brush on it. And uh, I think this other one is you, this only one size, but uh, but another, it's a good size. I mean, another, it goes right to a point, and it's, right? And it's made flat, so yeah, so, so it doesn't roll. So you could go roll. from really fine lines mm -hmm. to yeah, you can control really it like broad, a, like a pen. Yeah. Like this. Very um, nice. And those of us who have to take breaks in between while working on it, it's great because you got the same consistent color every yeah. yeah. single time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a great tool. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, he discovered that and passed it on. Yeah. Are you surprised that you didn't discover it? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no. Well, thank you. I would like to claim credit for it, but, but you know, uh, since this is a, since I wet that down, I'll wait on it a little bit to, to dry. Uh, I, you, I usually go back in and, uh, and, and bring out some highlights or some sharp edges on, on a, a rock that I'm, that I'm working on. Uh, you, know, you, you can texture these things any way you want to and put this. It doesn't really even have to look like the rock you know, that, you're, that you're working with. If you make a mistake and you, and you highlight something in the wrong place, who knows? Who knows what's wrong with it? As long as you don't show them your reference picture. Uh, but I, you know, I don't try to keep it real close to it anyway. Uh, but when it's dry, you can take a, a, the black ink pen and put some cracks here and there in it, and, and then I'll go back in and I'll highlight around it. And anytime I, I put a hard edge on there, though, I try to go back and soften it, soften it part of it, one side of it. Uh, I use uh, I use this tool here. This is a a, a little. It's, it's it's sold as an engraver. Uh, it has a little diamond bit that goes in there, uh, but it's got a set screw that you can you can take that little diamond bit out and change bit. The uh, these carvings carving bits that I. I used to use fit in there perfectly. I, I, I think they're like I don't know, 11, 30 seconds or something. I, I, it's a it's a common size, but it fits fits in there, and you set change the set screw, and you can you can uh, do a lot of different texturing with the uh, with this thing. And you can you know do little dots and lines or whatever. To add a different kind of texture. You can soften it, whatever. They have all different kinds of, uh, of, of, of tips that you can get. Mostly out, you know, carving shops and stuff. But this, uh, they have these. Like I was using initially to make it. Uh, these are a little more aggressive, though. You got to be careful if you're using 
using the you know power to it can eat into the the clay pretty quick. Uh, you can also get these. They're a composite, compressed material of some kind, and uh, they come in like three sizes or three great white, blue or green, and, and red. And the white is a, is is pretty hard and, and pretty smooth, and so it, it doesn't eat into the clay very uh, aggressively like. The, the green one's kind of a medium, and then the red is a, is a rough one. So you can, you can drag it around on there. I use it for my waterfall uh, as well to put, to put the small fine lines and stuff in there. It's a real versatile tool. Uh, you can use it for you know putting ground clutter, uh, rock. <coughs> It, so that, anyway, that's a. Is that piece of clay same thing? Only smaller. It's it's about the same, about the same size. This one looks like it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the under, the under seen one like that. That's. I can't really even remember where I got it. Probably Micro Marks. Yeah. It, so these are designed. For these are made. They, they they come with a little diamond tip. For engraving your name or number or color on, on keepsakes or stuff uh, or whatever, you know. Uh, but I, I, I use them for stuff that I've intended. But that tip is a carving tip? Yeah, it's, you it's, replaced a, it came with it's, a, it's a carving tip. Uh, they, make, we, they make a lot of carving, a lot of carving different carving burrs for, for detail work on. on I, I used to do uh, realistic bird carvings, and so no, what do you do with I this have one? a lot. Of, uh, that's for big rocks. <laughs> See, you can get all uh, different sizes of these uh, balls. Uh, that's for bigger boards. This is, yeah, that's for big rocks, big boards. Uh, Rod size boards. They, yeah. they come in different different shapes too, you know. And, uh, they're they're you, you don't necessarily have to have a ball, uh, but it, if you don't, it limits the, the directions and stuff you can go with it, but, but they have different shapes, uh, different sizes. It, if you're trying to work in close into a fine spot, you know, they have uh, pointed ones, uh, like a big one out. It, even with this type of, this material, instead of the uh, diamond bits or the ruby bits, uh, they have real sharp pointed uh, tips, some cylinder shaped tips. Uh, they're great for making grass, fur, you know, or uh, real fine lines. Uh, so it, they're just, it's just really a neat, neat little tool. Uh, that's good. I use it for this, uh, for water, fast moving water. Uh, it's one of two, I, I use, I, I kind of build those up as well, layer them. Uh, I use an electric eraser, uh, and I do that sometimes on the on the rocks too. If I want to take a a bigger splotches or put bigger texture on there, uh, and these these little battery powered electric erasers are, are are really great for taking getting the white back out of a getting removing the ink. I don't know anything that really digs that white back out in a soft way in an eraser. Uh, the, the fiberglass brushes will, will dig, bring out the whites probably just as well or maybe a little better, but not, you won't do it softly. As, uh, you can feather the edges as you're working with it, but the eraser kind of does that uh, automatically uh, if you don't hold it in one spot. But it, it, it's kind of a new tool. And I spend, it, 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 uh, if I'm really trying to get that rock, rock look, and, uh, I spend a lot of time layering, put a little texture, go back and, uh, you know, put some more diluted ink on it. 